Um, being in the moment with uh, Mr. God, I had a very special moment uh, many years back when the late, great Keith Green called me up one busy afternoon and uh, back in, I guess, since 1976. Um, of course, I was a I was a child prodigy, so I'm only 29 now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just riffing along with Pastor John here, just keying off that intro. Uh, but no, um, uh, Keith called me up one busy afternoon, and this man was like a force of nature. Ladies and gentlemen, you did not say no to Mr. Green, let me tell you. Uh, he was just so, so brilliant and so passionate about... about uh, Jesus and about music and about people. So he called me up and um, he insisted that I come to his house uh, to help him write this next song. And um, so I got in my car. I'm not, you know, here's a snapshot of Keith for you. This is just, it was just a singular experience, this man. Because I, I, I picked up the phone that afternoon. He was so focused and excited, he didn't even bother to say hello. I just, I picked up the phone and I heard, Randy, Randy, okay, you, you got to come over right now. <laughs> Hi, Keith. Yeah, okay, so, because I've been working on this music, but, but, but you got to come over because God told me. It's like, how do you argue with that? He said, God told me, you're the guy that's going to write the lyrics. He's going to do mighty things with it. It's going to go all around the world which I found interesting since we had yet to write the song. But, um, uh, but boy, um, I, I remember, you know, I, I, I said, okay, Keith, just stop shouting. Um, you might consider switching to decaf. That's a, oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, but I said, so okay, man, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. So as, as I'm hanging up the phone, I, I can hear him still shouting. So I put the phone back up to my ear and I said, yeah, Keith, okay, um, if I'm talking to you on the phone, I can't come to your house. <laughs> it's not a spiritual gift to be omnipresent, you know? Um, but he said, no, 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 I, I, I want you to hear the music right now. I said, Keith, I live a half mile from you. Let me just get in the vehicle and I'll... He goes, no, 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 you got to hear it right now. Just smash your phone up, smash your... your um, yeah, smash the phone up real close to your ear. It was, it was like so, you know, a combination of aggravating and endearing. You know, you just kind of had to love him. And I went, okay, okay, okay. So this is before cell phones, right? So he took, uh, you know, I put the phone up close. He took um, his end. He put it up on top of his old upright piano where he wrote so many wonderful songs. And uh, he started playing this music. And, and a, you know, in about a minute, he picked the phone back up and he said, Praise God, I mean, isn't that beautiful? And he wasn't bragging, he just, he just sensed, you know, in his spirit that God was up to something. And I said, man, that's that really, that's great. He said, okay, so come over right now. Like, <laughs> so I got in the car, I drove to his house, and uh, where he proceeded to trap me in the music room. <laughs> he sort of cornered me with his yellow legal pad in his pen, these big puppy dog guys looking at you. As I, this is true. I mean, I walked down the hall to the music room. I, you know, um, he was there at the piano, his eyes closed, his head thrown back, all this too much uh, wavy, you know, curly brown hair kind of creating its own weather system, kind of flailing around. And, um, and, and then he, he, what he sensed, as a person would, he sensed that someone had come into the room. And uh, he, so he stopped playing. In one fluid motion, he spun around on the piano bench, he grabbed the pad and the pen, and he looked at me with his big puppy dog Keith eyes, and he went, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I, just said, I said, Keith, um, yeah, I'll, I'll round out the conversation for you. Uh, yes, it's good to see you too. <laughs> yes, I've been fine. Uh, no, I don't need a cup of coffee. And he just went, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, just dispense with the, the social niceties, man. You're the guy, just get on it, you know? So I said, okay, um, but play me some of, the, some of the melody that you're working on. And um, so he started doing that. And I, I listened and I said, um, I said, uh, uh, like, well, what about this? What about that? Like a, 
Like a, like a foolish dreamer trying to build a highway to the sky. He went, yes, praise God. See, I knew you were the God. <laughs> oh, bless his heart, man. So I ended up writing most of the lyrics um, to the song that afternoon. And, uh, and then we watched in amazement as the Lord in his largesse um, allowed the song to just go all around the world and take on a life of its own. Uh, so if you remember this song, feel free to join in with me during the choruses. If you don't know it, just point your hearts toward heaven. I didn't 